Hi, I'm Katina with the Jewel Jewels by Katina. Um, I'm an independent paparazzi consultant. And today I want to talk with you all about um, what to do once you sign up to be a consultant. So after you get that rush and you signed up and you figured out which package you want, you will first then figure out what is a business name that you would like. What would you like to go by? Um, take some time in figuring out that because that's going to be your brand name. That's what you're going to be known as pretty much everywhere on any social media that you're on. Um, people that you know, that's who they're going to know you by. So just take some time with figuring out that. Um, I would say check with your um, upline to figure out if there is a particular name or word that should be within your title. As mine, we all have jewels in ours, so everything else I picked out. I figured um, when I signed up, I wanted something different. Um, so I picked Du Jour Jewels. Um, and I like that name. It kind of was catchy. You wanted something that people were going to always remember, and that worked for me. So then you would, the next thing you would like to do is create a Facebook page. Um, and this will be your business page where you can invite your friends, tell them all about it so that you can post and advertise any of your, um, you know, your jewels when you get them, anything when you order so that they'll be able to go there and you can host parties, um, tell them about places where you're going to be when you're going to do vendor events. Um, so that would be very good. You're also going to want to um, go ahead and make a VIP page. Your VIP page is going to be for those exclusive members um, or whatever you desire for them to be in there. Some people just go ahead and add people in their VIP page or those who are interested. Some people add VIP pages for those who have purchased from them um, and they get exclusive dibs on, you know, as soon as you order, you get to show them what you've ordered so they can reserve them or you can do live showcasing in your VIP page before you do it on your business page. So you figure out which one is gonna work for you um, and that's how you utilize that page. Either way, you're still advertising your business. Um, the clientele that you're servicing may be different um, because your VIPs are people who, who have actually purchased from you. Your business page is just a public page for the world to be able to see what is your business about? How much are you working your business? How are you showing up? Um, so by having a business page, you just don't want to make that business page and just let it sit there and post whenever you feel like it. You should be showing up on your page every single day, whether it's a selfie with your jewelry, um, whether it's a neck, um, if it's a bracelet set, you need to be showing up every single day because when people see you show up, they start to say, oh, okay, she's serious about her business. Um, she's consistent and they become interested in you and what you're doing. So that makes them want to tune in when you do go live, okay? Um, let's see. You also want to showcase whether it's stock photos of jewelry that you purchased, something that's on the way, or if you just have inventory that has not sold, you can post those pictures there and it may be someone who is, you know, new new to your page and they may see it and be like, oh, you know, I like it. And they're able to purchase it off of your business page. So you want to primarily operate your business off your business page and your VIP page. Um, if you're into social media accounts, um, I would say, you know, utilize as many of those as possible, but primarily utilize Facebook and Instagram. Um, YouTube is also a good social media to utilize because you do you know, people are watching YouTube videos all the day. I mean, all all during the day. Um, they share them constantly. So that is another way for you to get your business out if you're trying to, you know, let people know about your business. Um, I have a Facebook or Instagram, um, and now I have a YouTube page. Um, I've also tried to work on Twitter, um, tried to navigate a little bit to Periscope. So you just have to figure out, you know, what type of clientele are you looking for? Are you trying to put any restrictions on your business? And if you're not, then you just, if you can understand that, um, that social media platform, then utilize it. Um, Snapchat is always a good, you know, it's another good um, social media site to utilize if you know how to utilize it. I do use it from time to time to upload pictures and I put my caption on it. Um, when it comes to you posting about your your jewelry, you want to do things that are catchy, whether, you know, if it's just you taking a picture and 
you have on that jewelry and accessory. Or if it's something like, you know, you have a stack. A lot of people are stacking bracelets. So just make sure it's something that's going to catch people's eye to make them ask you, you know, what's that? Is that the paparazzi jewelry? How much is that? Can I have everything on your wrist? You know, you just never know. So there are different types of graphics and apps and things out there that you can utilize to enhance your photos, um, your videos, um, or just to let people know that you're going live or to let people know, you know, I have a business now. Um, let's see. Once you have all that done, I would say you want to navigate into your business um, website on paparazziaccessories.com. You want to go ahead and put that profile picture up there because you want people to identify you with that um, ID number that they give you. Um, and then you want to go ahead and put like a little narrative up there because people like, they'll be able to say, okay, this is what she's about. Um, you can update that as periodically as you like, but you want to go ahead and put some information out there um, so people know, you know, who are you? Um, I started mine with why I signed up for paparazzi. Um... I also got a website through GoDaddy because I just didn't want to be identified as that number um, because my upline, she had a website and I wanted to know, you know, how did you get your website? So when she told me, you know, GoDaddy, I went, you know, did some research and you can get a website for like two years for like under $12 and that's a nice investment for you to have. People identify you with the same name as long as it's consistent. So I just made sure my name was consistent everywhere, you know, my name was posted. So after you do your picture, you do your narrative, you want to make sure you know how to order. So you want to make sure you're in the back office and you know how to get in there and get out because that's very important when it comes to new releases that occur Monday through Friday that you're able to get in and out so you don't miss pieces. Um, so you take, take some time now to learn how to get in and out. Um, it doesn't take... It doesn't take long to catch on to it. I try to use two devices whenever I am doing um, ordering just because sometimes there may be a, um, a delay. It may slow down. Your servers may be moving at a different speed or it may just be overwhelmed with people trying to get all those good pieces for $2.75. So definitely do that. I also sent a message out to all of my girlfriends, aunts, you know, People I knew, co-workers, let them know I am a paparazzi consultant. Check out my website. Here's the link. Um, just so I can get the word out there. Um, and I think that was definitely helpful because people, people may know that you're doing it, but you may need to tell them when you're doing it. And by you telling the website, a lot of people aren't able to follow a website, but if you send it to them in a text message, they're able to save it or refer back to it later on to say, oh, okay, this is the website. Let me, you know, let me check out the website and see what it's about. So that always works. And so that's some of the things that I did when I first got started before I got my kit. I did order some pieces, so it's okay for you to go ahead and order um, because just depending on when you become a consultant, if it's doing a... Um, holiday season it may be a little slower with you getting your packages and you want to make sure that you have something coming although when you sign up you do get what um, you do get some of the items on a zip drive drive that you can share with um, those on your business page and your VIP page at that time um, what you're getting and so that will definitely boost the ability for you to sell those items where people can go ahead and mark sold or reserve on them however you would like for them to word it on your page so those are just some key things for you to you know take note on as you're waiting for your kit so if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me my information is listed below okay